Jay, great to see you. Tell me a little bit about why you're here at the GLAAD Awards tonight and about your nomination. Yeah, oh my gosh. First off, congratulations to you on your GLAAD nomination. That is incredible and epic. Tonight we're here for Best TV Journalism segment where the prior reporting we've been doing for the last two years, the case was cracked in the sense that all the deaths were ruled homicides. It's, um, it's very sensitive topics, but we're glad that GLAAD is recognizing this as something important to nominate and just the years, two years worth of reporting that has brought these families justice. So happy to be here um, and you know it's it's so great to uh, to be back second year and this was my first interview last year too so and what, what did it mean to you to be reporting on that story in particular I think I, I mean when I reported on the first initial story on Julio Ramirez um, we were the same age and I felt like there was a connection there in that sense and beyond that him also being Latino I'm a Latino journalist openly gay he's an openly gay uh, professional himself he was and and I think to me that really connected us in that sense and um, and all the other Latinos who feel that they're under undercovered underrepresented in the in the community and even in, in, in media um, so yeah that's what it really meant to me to be there and step into that so yeah and why do you think it's so important for us all to come together um, on nights like this? Why is it important? You already know. First off, and among being around folks like yourself and everyone else, we have such a great time. Um, but I think it's just amazing to show this is the 35th year that GLAAD is hosting the GLAAD Awards here in New York City. And it is just incredible to get everyone together. And um, the atmosphere is always great. And it's just a great way to just converse and talk about those stories. And it's going to be a great it's going to be a great night. I know that. Yeah.